Two months ago, nobody had any idea that hand sanitizer would become like gold in the fight against coronavirus. But local distilleries like McCormick and Jay Rieger and Company have stepped up big time by making the switch from making booze to making hand sanitizer. In this week's Friday Night Flights, photojournalist Ken Ullery shows us the new normal at Jay Rieger and Company. So right now, actually, we're making rye whiskey, but the other six days a week, we've been making hand sanitizer. So we're utilizing our finishing still, which her name is Sherry. We have this tank farm of 3,000 gallon tanks. Uh, we've actually taken one over, and that is our uh, high volume sanitizer blending tank. As you can see, our liquor bottling line is sitting right there, and then we're just utilizing the tank for that, and we made our own makeshift bottling line. One of the big things on hand sanitizer production for us is we're not trying to be overly efficient. We're trying to make sure we preserve all the jobs of our staff. So we've done everything in a very manual manner. Three people filling two liter jugs and then passing it down and we have the capping, labeling, and then the eventual palletizing of what's going on. So this is the entire line in a shift. We're able to do about roughly eight pallets of hand sanitizer. And so we have two shifts a day. So we're able to get about 16 pallets, somewhere 16, 18 pallets a day. So without the public being in our building, we've taken over all the public spaces with storage like pallets of unfinished boxes that we had received, uh, just really a little bit of space that we can find. This is our small bottle line, so they're filling 6.6 .6 ounce bottles right now. We'll always have a few people over here during the day. They're filling, they're labeling, and we just have both lines going every single day, two shifts a day. One of the cool things that we've been allowed to do by our state you know, during this time while all restaurants are shut down and being forced into a shutdown is we're able to do bottled cocktails. So it's been really popular, and this is more or less our bottled cocktail headquarters. So this is where we're actually packaging all of the bottled cocktails and then getting them ready to be sold off to the public as they're purchasing them for pickup from our facility. We estimate that we've lost about 75 to 85% of our total revenue. And so being able to find something to keep every single person employed and guarantee that we're here when this ends was our main goal of switching over to sanitizer. And so as long as we're able to treat our entire staff really well during this time and continue to provide that community need, we don't really have much more to ask for here at Jay Rieger & Co. Yeah. I want to thank Andy Rieger for uh, putting up with us that day. So far, they've cranked out more than 200,000 bottles of hand sanitizer at Jay Rieger & Company so far. And as you can see, they keep cranking out every day. And our friends at McCormick Distilling in Western Missouri, they're doing the same thing over there. They've made 10,000 gallons of hand sanitizer. They call it helping hands sanitizer. You can buy some, but what I wanted to point out tonight is that both distilleries give most of the sanitizer away to local hospitals and first responders. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable.